Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo and today we're going to show Captain America some love and we're going to be using the Trinity method but we're going to be doing something a little bit different today where we're going to be using Captain America's four skill tied in with the all defense down from Nimrod that he's going to be getting buffed up by White Fox's leadership. This is going to put Nimrod's all defense down at 100% and whenever Captain America does his four skill We'll have that. We'll fill up that 100% all defense down in no time. And by the way, this 10% is also getting buffed up by White Fox's leadership. And it's really nice that Captain America has that leadership tag so you can do things like this. Now, I am really, really hoping that we get other characters that have these leadership tags or have some kind of other tag that buffs up debuff effects. Uh, I also would really love to see other characters besides Nimrod and Weapon Hex being able to hit that 100% all defense down because every time you ma I make these kind of videos where we do these high levels, uh, this is pretty much what we're subje subjected to. You know, we have to always use the same characters over and over and over, uh, maybe a little bit different methods, a little different, you know, styles, but it is... In, in essence, the same thing kind of over and over again. So I really hope Netmarvel gives us some other 100% all defense down characters. That'd be really awesome. And Nimrod is so great because he just has this 20, this starts off at 20%. And with that 40% all debuff effect from White Fox, it's even more. And so when you do this, whenever you apply the all defense down from Nimrod and you do Captain America's four skill, you're going to do a crap ton of damage. And the beautiful thing about this is you don't need a rage. Now, I do have a rage on my Captain America, and White Fox does have a CTP of insight. So she does have, offer that extra 20% damage to superheroes or supervillains whenever it procs. So you will be seeing two procs in the top left-hand corner, and that's why. One of, his, one of them is a CTP of insight, and the other one is the CTP of rage. And there's that 60% damage to supervillains that applies to characters with leadership. And if you look at my Captain America build, he has 41,220 physical attack. He has 128 attack speed, 75 crit rate, max crit rate, 182 critical damage, 43% ignored defense, but he does get ignored defense from doing his fist skill. He also has max skill cooldown. He has 64% dodge. He has all five star Urus, all amplified slots, and I believe it's his fist skill. Yeah, he gets 10% ignored defense from his fist skill. So y'all, at least I need to always make sure I hit it, but you want to hit this anyways. You want to cancel the fist skill into the four. You want to get this fist skill because you want that 25% all attack buff. And you'll get this thing immediately. So just cancel the five into the four. And then you use this all defense down the four. You got the invincibility. Captain America's got a lot of survivability. He's got the extra immunity on the first skill. Just an amazing character. And this will work with the Hydra Supreme uniform as well. But I want to do it with the in-game uniform. And he has a fully awakened power of Angry Hawk set. And he has the CTP of Rage. Again, if you had a CTP of Energy or just a regular critical damage with damage proc obelisk, it would work. We will do more damage with the Rage because we will be able to tie in other skills. We'll do the 5, cancel the 4, and then I'll probably chain into some other skills afterwards to do more damage. But you're still going to do really good damage with a damage proc. And his uniform is at Mythic. You know, we got Dodge from the first uniform, which is Bucky, it's nice. Angel for the second, little physical attack. Little HP from Hulkbuster here, because we don't need the ignore defense from this uniform stat. A little Dodge from Cyclops, and some critical damage from Black Bolt. Good old Black Bolt. So, we're just going to do this live. I didn't do no pre-recorded videos, because that way maybe you all can see the trial and error from this, because it is easy to die. Uh, they can get one shot very easy. We're gonna try stage 80. Now I'm not gonna try to get the clear. I just want to show you that it's very possible to do this. We're gonna jump in here. We don't need any all defense down strikers because we already have all of our all defense down from our team. And I am gonna bring anti venom. You definitely want heals. And we're gonna be using these strikers that damage to super that have damage to super villains. So you want to start with White Fox's four skill to get the immunity, then hit the one for the paralysis, and then the five for the charm. So we're going to hit her immunity. We're going to hit the one, then the paralysis, then the charm. As soon as the charm hits, boom, then we're going to switch to Nimrod. We're going to use this four. 
Then we're going to hit the three for the immunity. As soon as the all defense applies, we're going to switch to Captain America, then hit five, four. And boom, look at that. Now we are going to do extra damage because we do have that rage. Okay, here we go. Hit the immunity, the one, then the five again. Apply the charm, switch to Nimrod. Here we go. Since the all defense now applies, five, four. And with the proc, it will trigger much easier than that damn rage. The rage is, um, I don't know, sometimes it wants to trigger right at the beginning, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of an annoying obelisk to deal with sometimes, but it is nice when it engages that you can chain into other skills and do more damage. Okay, we're going to go down here. We're going to switch to White Fox. Come up here, come up here. We're going to use our Paralysis, then our Charm. Here we go. All right, come on. Five, four. I mean, look at this. And this is what I'm talking about. Stage 80 is a pretty awesome clear. Now we need to run, 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 run. We're probably going to die. We're probably going to die. Yeah, we died. We got guard broken and we pretty much died. But you can see we got down to the ninth bar in a minute 30. So he can definitely do stage 80. Now let me show you something else really quick just for fun. So we're going to go ahead and switch to Nick Fury. And if you don't have Nick Fury, you could use uh, just some kind of leadership that gives an increase to physical types or all attack. Nick Fury is awesome because he has 55% damage on super villains, plus a 50% increase of all attack, plus he has an 80% attack buff on his fifth skill. And then we're going to go ahead and throw in Weapon Hex. Here we go. Let's try something else. Same exact strikers. And we want Weapon Hex for that 100% all defense down. Now this is pretty tricky to try to pull off. Uh, we'll probably end up dying pretty quick, but it's just something fun to try and maybe something for some of you to give a shot. So here we go. So we're going to go ahead, hit that attack buff. We're going to switch to Weapon Hex. There we go. And boom. And you can see it's pretty much the same thing. Now, it is definitely trickier. Now, when you're using Nick Fury, you always want to start with that four to get that iframe up. As soon as that thing ends... Hit your 5, then switch to Weapon Hex. Then hit the 5-4 from Weapon Hex, and then 5-4 with Captain America. Now there, my proc came really late. If you had been playing with a damage proc, that probably would have worked out alright. And this is tricky. I mean, there is no doubt. But I am doing this in real time. You guys can probably hear me tapping the controller. <laughs> you gotta be pretty fast with the fingers. Here we go. And I just love that Nick Fury has this long, long iframe. It is sweet. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to switch to Nick Fury. Now here's where it gets real tricky whenever Proxima can break out the purple. Because we have no CC, we can't really lock her down, which kind of sucks. And sometimes it's kind of hard to see what's going on. We're going to run around, run around, run around. Here we go. Okay, come on. Come on, here we go. Now you see this took a little bit more time, but virtually the same amount of damage. Now we need to run because the purple's coming down. Okay, so now we need to hit our four. Proxima, jump down, slam down there. Now we're probably going to die because the purple was down there, so we got kind of screwed there. Here we go. And yeah, it gets real tricky as you play it for a while, for sure. Here we go. I mean, if one of those spears hits Nick Fury, he's dead. You literally will get one-shotted like it's nothing.
Oh man, that sucks. Okay, here we go. We need to run, run, run. We see more purple. I mean, we are on pace to do this, but it is extremely, extremely hard. And you don't want to use the tier three because it just takes too long. You got to sit and charge the damn thing. You can't just hit it and hope for the best. Here we go. And as long as you're an iframe, Proximum won't do any of the purple attacks. However, when you switch your character, she will. And the other thing that sucks about not having CCF using this method is you have no... You can't stop her from doing her frenzy buff, which really sucks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, look at this. Run away, run away. Come on, as long as she doesn't bring down the purple, we can definitely get this clear. Which would be pretty insane. Now we need to run. I saw the purple there. Oh, crap. More purple. Damn frenzy buff. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm really just trying to focus and concentrate. And hoping I can get this clear, but yeah, the frenzy buff is up, so we didn't get no all the sound. We did at the end, but didn't get near as much as what we wanted. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much died. 26 seconds left. Very difficult. But it can be done. If I sat and practiced it and played a bunch of times, I definitely could do it. But I just wanted to show all of you that. Uh, just a couple of little methods that you could do just for fun that are difficult, but it's a nice change of pace, you know. Always doing one-shots for me gets a little boring, kind of takes the fun out of the game. So it's kind of nice to do something different that is challenging, but still you can do high-level world boss clears using the method. So let me know how you're all feeling about these two methods that I showed you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.